Hi, my name is Bridget Hodge and I'm a retail expert here at Fit Small Business. Today, we are going to be walking through the inventory management tools on Square Point of Sale. The Square Point of Sale system is a great solution for many small businesses, but there is also Square for Retail and Square Restaurants if you need a more targeted tool. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can check out our reviews for Square for Retail and Square Restaurants in the description box below, or you can find them linked under step one in the article. That brings me to another point. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't miss our corresponding article on setting up Square's inventory tools in the description box below. So here we are on your Square point of sale dashboard. Now, when it comes to inventory, the first thing you will need to do is tell Square exactly what inventory you have. This brings us to the first set, step of the setup process, add items to your inventory catalog. To do this, you will simply navigate over to the items button in your home screen menu. This will take you to your inventory list. From there, you will come to this screen where you will have two options. Either you can create an item or import an item. With the import items option, you can upload your inventory list in bulk, perfect for if you already have an inventory and are just switching management systems. To import items in bulk, all you need to do is download the Square inventory template, as you see here, fill it out, and then upload your inventory catalog. For adding products day to day and for businesses that don't have an existing inventory list to add, the create an item button is going to be your go-to. This is where you will be able to add new products one by one and create detailed product pages for each product that you add. So let's take a look at what kinds of things you can include in the Square inventory catalog. So if you go ahead and select create an item, you will be taking to this product form. Here, you can fill out all kinds of different information about your inventory, including product description, images, and more. I will note here that Square does lack a place where you can record product vendor information, something that you can get with higher level inventory management systems. Either way, let's take a look at how to create an item with Square. As you can see, the first fields that you fill out are pretty straightforward. So you start with the name of your product. We'll go with short sleeve t-shirt. Then you can add a short description, a category, and the location where your inventory is sold. For the category, I'm going to file the sky under tops. If this category didn't already exist, I could easily create it simply by top typing into here, and you would have the option to create new. But we're going to stick with tops. Categorizing products allows you to create categorical reports so you can see how tops or other categories are performing against one another. At this stage, you can also add a product image simply by dragging a picture into this box or uploading to your Square account. So here, let's add a quick description. We're going to say breathable cotton. And then we'll scroll down. So here we are at the options section. This is where you can create product option sets. I think the best way to explain what this means is to just walk you through an example. So if you click add option, you will come to this form. In the option set name, you might put a descriptor such as size, color, or sleep length. Essentially, your option set describes the type of variations you have for the product in question. To keep things simple for this example, I will go with size as my option set. And here we have small, medium, and large sizes. Then I click next, and I say create three variations, and they will appear down here in my variation section. Additionally, if I were to add another option set, say color, Square would automatically create size and color options. So for example, we're gonna say we're gonna have red, yellow, and green shirts. Now, if we go here, you see that Square's automatically created an option for each size and color. So you're going to have smalls in red, yellow, green, mediums in red, yellow, green, and larges in red, yellow, and green. For every piece of inventory, you can create as many option sets and variations as you could need and can even create variations without categorizing them into options. Square really gives you a ton of flexibility. Not only that, but these tools will save you a ton of time as all the product information from the base product will be carried over into its variations other than SKU and pricing information, which you will need to input in individually for each variant. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you will come to the final few fields on the product page. 
There is the custom attributes section where you can add custom attributes and tags to a product. Then there is the point of sale behavior, which is where you can set how you want items to appear on your website. And then there's the online checkout option where you can get a link to sell your products online. So with all the fields filled out and ready to go, there's one more thing you will need to do. Square knows what inventory you have, but you still haven't told it how much you have. This is arguably the most important thing for Square to know about your inventory. As your starting levels will help Square to accurately track and report on your inventory as you make sales. So how can you input your inventory quantities? Let's take a look. So scrolling back up to the variant section of your product form, you will see the button adjust inventory. If you click that, you will be taken to the form you see here. Here, the first thing you will want to do is click the Select a Reason drop-down menu. This is just telling Square why you are making an inventory adjustment, whether that be because you got a new shipment or are making a correction after a cycle count. The different reasons will have different effects on your reporting, so be sure that you're accurate here. I will say you cannot input a custom reason for your stock adjustment, which might be limiting for some retailers, but overall, the Square does cover a lot of things. So here I'm just going to select stock received as my reason for um, adjusting the inventory. And then I'm going to make the adjustment 100 units. So I'm adding 100 units to this stock count. And I'm going to go through and fill it out for all of my products. I'm going to say I just have 100 of each. And then simply click done and your stock levels will be adjusted. So now that your stock levels are input into your Square inventory report, the final thing you will need to do is allow Square to track your stock levels and to set up low stock alerts. These tools allow Square to track your inventory and how everything is changing as you make sales. This lets you know exactly how much of each item you have at any point in time. Then with low stock alerts, when you reach a certain inventory level, Square will send you an automated alert um, when it is time to restock an item. So to set these permissions, you will simply click on the individual variant name, like we'll do with here, and then toggle over to manage stock. Then you need to turn on tracking and low stock alert permissions. So tracking, I would flip this on, it's already on automatically. I have 100 and then I scroll down and I opt in for low stock alerts. As soon as I opt in, I'll be given a, um, a field where I can fill in the level at which I want a restock alert. So I'm going to say when my red t-shirts reach 10 units, I want a restock alert to let me know it's time to restock that product. Then I click done and it's as easy as that. Your product is now being tracked and uh, you have a low stock alert for that item. With that, all you need to do is save your product and you will automatically be added to your inventory catalog. Don't worry though, nothing is set in stone and you can edit existing inventory at any time um, as you need. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Here we go. And as you can see, my short sleeve t-shirt is in my inventory catalog. and All the variations are underneath of it. So let's head back to your home screen. Thus far, you have been doing a lot of heavy lifting in your inventory management. Adding inventory, however, is the most intensive part of the inventory process on your end. After your products are in the Square system, Square takes the lead, monitoring and reporting on your inventory so you can make quantified quantify decisions and better understand your customers. If you head over to your home screen sidebar menu again, you will see the reports button. If you go ahead and click that, you will come to the reports dashboard. Scrolling again on the sidebar, you will come to the inventory report section. Here, while you don't find quite as many reports as with some inventory management systems, you will find a good range of inventory reports, including the cost of goods sold, which tells you how much your products cost to your business, your vendor sales, which shows you how your sales are performing between vendors, your projected profits, which uses data from the past 70 days to predict your store's future profitability, and then your inventory by category, which tells you how different inventory categories are performing. Each of these reports is based on to the minute in inventory performance and makes it easy to understand how certain items are performing with just a few clicks. As you have seen today, Square is a great option for managing your inventory. It makes it easy to get started. 
As I said before, if you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to check out our corresponding article in the description box below. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Fit Small Business YouTube channel for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.